Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop today. Today we wanna to go over why Scotty Kimmer's right and the Toyota 400 is probably one of the best vehicles ever made. Yes, I know the hood's up. Uh, that's just because I did an oil change. Um, if anybody remembers, I'll leave a link in the description below, but we did a lot of things to this when I first got it. Um, yes, you can kill these if you completely neglect them. Uh, the guy that had this before me, I think it was an older gentleman. I don't think he ever changed the oil and it was completely fried, but we saved it. We put in a uh, engine from a 2001 used Toyota 4Runner and it absolutely runs like a dream. Um, everything else on this is factory, uh, right down to the transmission, um, transfer case, front diff, rear diff, all of that stuff is, uh, is never been replaced, never been touched along with the interior. So let me show you around this truck and let's talk about why they're awesome. We could just start right here for number one. You never see these that are faded. You know why? They're glass. Made in Japan. So this one was made in October of 97. This is a feature that I love. Take your key here. Okay, put it in. Oops. Turn it. Oops. Maybe turn it the other way. And you can roll the rear window down. There's also a switch inside of the cab to roll it down. And they came with these, or maybe they were an option, to hide all your stuff. So that way if anybody was peering in from the back window, which this does have the privacy glass on, now you can't see anyways, um, they wouldn't be able to see. You can also roll it up from here. Let's turn the key. Maybe the other way. Yep. Well, new cars don't even have that. Real metal bumpers. Front and rear. Factory luggage rack. All right, so these uh, started as pickup trucks. Uh, so they still have a full length frame. I'll show you that in a minute. This one is extremely solid. Uh, solid rear axle, independent front suspension, damn near bulletproof. Okay, it also has metal front bumpers too. Okay, so I did mention these started as pickup trucks. Um, so they have solid frames, like actual frames, not like unibody frames. And you can see this one, is extremely solid. It's not all rusted out like a lot of them. I mean, nice, hang on a second, nice big thick frame pretty hard to beat that let's see what the inside of a 20 plus year old truck looks like every single switch in here works every single one this truck's got um 262,000 miles on it. Had 255 on it when I bought it. There's not a light on this thing that doesn't work. Roll the windows down so you can see better. There it is. It's not rusted. Anywhere. And these things just hold up. It's damn near perfect. Uh, that is not factory. I'll put that in there. Got that from a buddy of mine. But yeah, every single thing on this sucker works. The brake works. It does have a cigarette burn there. That guy was a smoker. But I clean these seats up. I mean, these are you know, 23, 24 year old seats. Here's the rear. And all of this stuff just looks great. Got 
the little straps. All your factory Toyota jack stuff in there. And the seat belt buckles fold up into the actual back of the seats. And there's that nice little retractable cover. Look, these are even the factory, the factory Toyota shocks. This thing still hold pressure. Had a Jeep that they wouldn't hold anything up. They were dead. These are both the factory Toyota ones. And this cool little cover. This rolls up. You can access all your stuff. Come factory with tow hooks. And a storage compartment and outlets. It was back in 1998. Both sides. And the rear seats also... Um, both of them fold. You can fold them all the way down. Let's start this thing up. Oh yeah, the driver's side. I mean, you know, a little wrinkles there, but nothing's torn. Well, maybe there's a little snag there, but it's not all the way through. This seat's been set in for 260,000 miles. your high beams, low beams, every single thing that just works on this truck. Everything. Like these three point foilers are probably some of the most reliable um, vehicles maybe ever produced. So um, I have done a few things to this. I did add an external transmission cooler. I have a video on that. Uh, this is the factory radiator. You could tell it's kind of turning brown. So there's a factory cap on it. Um, hell, it might even be the factory uh, upper and lower radiator hoses. I didn't replace any of that. Um, oil filters at regular scheduled intervals. Keep an eye on your transmission 
uh, fluid, all of your fluids, air filter, clean out your mass airflow sensor, you know, every now and then change your plugs at specified intervals, um, keep an eye on your transfer case fluid, uh, your diff fluids, etc. your coolant levels. This thing doesn't leak a drop of coolant. Um, and that's really it. Grease. Uh, this thing is, uh, you know, an older vehicle. It's got all of the grease fittings on it, which is awesome. You can take, uh, your, your handheld grease gun or your Milwaukee grease pump and, um, pump that sucker full of grease. And this thing will last you literally a lifetime. There's all the, uh, there's the switches. So roll down your rear window. It does come, uh, actually it's got the security and stuff on it. Your, uh, electronic, um, control transmission button. Actually hold out the shifts on that thing. It's pretty amazing what this thing was capable of all of those years ago and it's still very really relevant today just listen to the way the door shuts you know what that's from the guy's arm hanging out the window check this out oh yeah automatic rolling down windows all right you see that little faded spot in the paint Where's it at? Yeah, right there. See that? It's right where his arm sat. Kind of cool. It's character. I mean, every single door and latch on this sucker. They just shot perfect. Just well engineered these vehicles. Simple Japanese engineering. Alternator, you can change that out in 10 minutes. All the belts are easy to get to. Fan right in front of you. Everything, power steering pump, it's all real easy to get to. But you probably won't need to because you'll never have to work on it. All right, everybody, if you are fortunate enough to own one of these third gen 4 runners, um, this one is a 1998. I do prefer this body style. Uh, with that style front bumper, um, to me, that's a little bit more attractive than the fat lip style that came out. So, uh, yeah, these things are skyrocketing in price. And even one like this with 260,000 miles, they're, they're pretty expensive. But, uh, you know, a lot of value for the money. I would hop in this thing and drive it as far as I could possibly go. I'd drive it to California, Alaska. It didn't matter. This thing will take you where you need to go. So, yeah, Scotty Kilmer is right. Uh, the Toyota 4Runner, in my opinion, is one of the best vehicles you can buy. All right, so that's it, everybody. I uh, appreciate you all watching. If you have any questions about the, this particular Toyota or uh, any questions about any of the videos, I uh, will put some links in the description below. Um, the timing job we did on this Toyota, water pump replacement, thermostat replacement, um, valve cover seal replacement, any of that stuff. I have all the videos on this for your 3.4 liter Toyota. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thank you and take care.